guys, this is Val from Valk Inc. and today we are doing another figure tag. And this time it is a tag done by BB from BB's World. I was also tagged by the lovely Gigi from Anime Palooza, so let's get started with those questions. Also, I did chop off all of my hair. Every time my hair goes over 16 inches, I like to donate it to Wix for Kids. So this is chopped. It's doing its own thing because it's raining like crazy, so we're just gonna let that be. And we're gonna talk about these questions instead. Uh, I've also got all of my boxes behind me, so kind of a weird setup. Sorry. Question one, would you rather buy secondhand figures or brand new figures? Honestly, a lot of my figures are secondhand figures. I like to get my figures on sale. I figure if I can get them for a good price and they're still in great condition, that just means I can buy more figures later on. Ugh. But sometimes I do like to buy brand new just to guarantee that I get a figure. Sometimes you can tell that a figure is going to sell out. Um, sometimes you can't. For the most part, I like secondhand, but nothing beats a new figure. It's always fun. Question number two, have you ever pirated anime before? And if so, what was it? Well, I grew up in the 90s, and that was the age of Napster.com, where as long as it was online, it was free game. So a lot of my early anime watching days was stuff online, which was most likely pirated anime, because we really didn't have a lot of streaming services like we do now. We're basically in a golden age. Like, I'm blown away that we even have simulcasts. If you went back to the 90s and told me that would happen, I wouldn't believe you. Um, I'm so happy that more and more people are getting into anime and we're getting more and more productions. Because uh, back then, I really felt alone <laughs> being such an anime fan. But yeah, back then it was a lot of stuff like that. And sometimes it can't be helped just because there's older series that will never see the light of day in America because of licensing issues. Um, today I watch everything on either like High Dive or um, on Amazon or on Crunchyroll because I have that ability now. Um, we just didn't have that ability back then. But yeah, so there hasn't been anything pirated lately in my life just because we have so much available. But definitely back then, if you wanted anything beyond uh, Dragon Ball Z or Sailor Moon, you kind of had to do that. So I'm really happy that we have legal streaming services now. It's a good thing. Number three, Blu-ray or DVD, uh, which do you prefer? Um, I have a lot of DVDs just because when I was collecting that would be the most prominent thing. Actually, when I first started buying anime, it was on VHS. Um, the very first OVA anime I ever bought was Magic Knight Ray Earth on the VHS tapes. Oh my god, I'm old. But yeah, so I have a lot of DVD. I prefer the quality of Blu-ray, but I can only watch Blu-ray on like my Playstations. DVD I have all over the house. So yeah, combo packs. Those are my favorite. I love combo packs. Number four, what would you love to see a second series of? Let's see, what series deserves a second season? Oh, my default answer is always uh, Princess Jellyfish. That is an amazing anime. The manga is so beautiful. I love everything in it. But there's so much anime out there that never got a second season that totally deserved one. And it's just such a shame because a lot of times you'll love a season and it won't have a proper ending. Um, as of right now, the most recent one I want, I want a second season of School Babysitters. There are so many cute stories that they didn't even get to touch on in this first season that would be really great in a second season. Um, if I want to be greedy, I do want a third season of Osamatsu-san. Is that mean? Is that bad? I don't know. Number five, do you think the anime community is an accepting group to be a part of? Yeah, I think generally the anime community is very accepting. I think because there's so much more anime available and there's so much more um, social media that shows anime, I think it's generally more accepted uh, to your average normie person too. Like you can talk to anyone and they kind of know what Cowboy Bebop is or Akira. So yeah, I think it's definitely more accepting. You still have um, trouble as you do in any large fandom group, I guess. Um, but for the most part, it's a really great community. I love it. I tend to hang out on the fringes of the anime community. I don't really follow big anime YouTubers. Um, I like a more uh, personal approach that smaller anime YouTubers give. So um, if you guys ever need new uh, people to follow, go check out my sidebar on my main page. I have my favorite collectors on there and they're also some of my favorite anime YouTubers. So that's generally where I hang out. I really love this community. Oh, uh, mama. What were the last 10 videos you watched on YouTube? No cheating. Baby don't have no cheating. Hold on. I gotta open up my history because I don't know. 
um, 10? I might go over 10, let's see. Number one, the BB tag, because I needed these questions, and BB is amazing. Go check her out if you have not yet. Number two, I watched the first podcast episode of the Shoujo Trash Showdown, and that's done by uh, Gwen and Gigi. They are amazing. I love it. They're trying to fill in the podcast community with this little niche that is Shoujo, Shoujo Trash, and Otome games, and I think that's great because there's not enough of a spotlight on that, and you can find some real hidden gems amongst those things. I love trashy anime. I mean, I love uplifting high art stuff and I love trash. So I'm excited. I can't wait to see more of that. Oh, I watched Dynamic Dylan's uh, Right Stuff Anime Pie Dye Sale. Uh, I really wish I did buy something from Pie Day, but I'm moving, so that didn't happen. I watched Snowbubble Monsters uh, Foss Cosplay Nails. She does nail art that's related to anime. She'll design um, different nail arts that are based on certain anime characters or series. I did a couple of her One Piece ones. I want to do all of her nail designs. She is freaking talented and adorable and I love her stuff. And as you guys know, I really like nail polish. Oh, I watched a uh, Japan Stuff channel. They are a channel that will go and look at new gashapon that are out in Japan, new smaller items, new uh, just oddities that are out in Japan. The video I just watched was the Sailor Moon Souvenir Medallion Machine because there was a Sailor Moon event that they went to, so that was awesome. I, uh, I really like that channel. That's where I find a lot of like weirder little gashapon type things that I, I like picking up. I also watched Charmander. For those of you who know, she is Charlotte in Japan, but she's recently moved to Korea. So she put out a video on her Charmander channel, what it's like living in Korea. I love traveling shows. I love learning about new cultures and new places. I find it infinitely fascinating. So I was really curious how she's enjoying Korea. I think Korea is really amazing. I love their makeup and skincare, and I think they have really cool pop groups. So yeah, it's really cool to see that she's enjoying herself over there. I also watched Kelly T. She did a loot anime unboxing for the tech box. And I don't know, I don't know what to think about loot anime boxes. I'll answer that in the next question, but I really like seeing those unboxings, and I really like the Astro Boy figure in that box. I might have to try to track one down separate. I don't know, we'll see. Oh yeah, I watched Dynamic Dylan do the BB tag himself, and uh, that reminded me that I need to film this. That's what we're doing today, despite my hair kind of living on another planet. I watched Anime Palooza do her Yuri on Ice Hot Topic haul. There was a big sale, I guess, at Hot Topic. I don't have one near me, so I don't know. But she picked up a bunch of Yuri on Ice stuff, and if you love Yuri on Ice, I do know that Hot Topic does have a lot of Yuri on Ice stuff. They also sell online, so maybe check that out and bump up your collections with some more Yuri on Ice goods. Something is clicking. I think it's the heat. I don't know. Oh, I also watched Let's Fight a Boss. That is a podcast done by these three Irish animators, and they like to talk about uh, what's l the latest in gaming, games, anime they've been watching. I just got a message. <laughs> The anime they've been watching, videos they've been watching, how they feel about it, what they'd like to see in the future. Um, they're fascinating. I really like them. Uh, I watched episode 71, Why the Third Panel Matters. So that was really fun. I really like them. I also watched Dynamic Dylan's really heartfelt video. He did a video called Welcome to the NHK Save My Life. And God, that is a great video. I mean, it demonstrates how Something like anime, something like gaming, something that really matters to you can really change your life. And I think that's just brilliant and beautiful and I love you, babe. I just, I do. I do. I think that's 10. Is that 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That was 11. Val can't count. We already knew this. We'll move on. Number 7. Do you think Loot Crate type purchases are worth the price or are they a ripoff? I feel like they're only worth the price if you like getting a random box in the mail. If you really like being surprised by items, if you love a huge array of anime or gaming or pop culture, you know, whatever type of box you're picking up, yeah, in that case it's worth it for you. If you're a very specific type of collector, like I really like Osamatsu-san and One Piece and very specific series, um, they're not really the best for me per se. I like them. I wish they were more tailored to my tastes, but yeah. I don't know if I'll pick up loot anime in the future. I'm still deciding. I do like getting boxes in the mail, so I might get a snack box in the future or something else. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if there's a really 
good box that's worth it. I just can't decide, and I honestly can't think about it right now. I'm moving. Ah, number eight. Do bootleg figures have a place, or should they all be destroyed? Um, I hate bootlegs. I really don't like them. Uh, basically, it's a theft of the art that the sculptor made, it's a theft of the product that the company is making. They're always inferior looking, made with inferior products, and I think the worst part is, by nature, they're deceptive. Generally, they prey on people who don't know a lot about figure collecting. They prey on people that want to buy a gift for someone but don't know where to go for authentic pieces, and it's just not fair. I've never known anyone that has been happy to own a bootleg, and I've never known anyone who has had their work taken and is happy about it. Um, I, w I follow a few sculptors and artists online, and whenever their art is stolen or a figure of theirs has been bootlegged, they're always really disappointed. It just puts this sour taste in your mouth. So no, I don't like them. Uh, unfortunately, copyright laws are not the same in every country, so a lot of those bootlegs do come out of China, and so if you are shopping somewhere other than like Amiami, Tokyo Otaku Mode, Mandarake, or Hobby Link Japan, you know, um, Big Bad Toy Store is another good place to buy authentic things. If you're shopping somewhere other than that, like let's say eBay, unfortunately you do have to avoid anything coming out of China. I mean, that's just where most of the bootlegs come from, and they don't mind putting up, you know, promo pictures of the authentic item while selling a bootleg worse version to you. So just be careful of that, you know, follow figure collectors, um, follow authentic sites and you'll be happy with your collection. Anyway guys, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see more tag videos like this from me. I'm generally not on this side of the camera. Clearly, I don't know how to set this up. But I have a little bit of time because my house was supposed to close in the middle of March. Now it's closing in the middle of April. So that happens. House buying is really kind of a crapshoot that way. But I'm still moving, I'm still really excited about it, everything I own is in a box behind me. Yeah, we're still doing this. So anyway, thank you guys so much, I love you all, you guys rock, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! Mwah.